Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a system of linear equations in uh, Python. We will first import uh, libraries, important libraries. Uh, we'll import NumPy and from SciPy, we will import uh, inverse function, solve function and determinant function. Uh, I've taken an example. So here are the system of equations. It's a two variable system of equations. That means we have two variables we want solution for two variables so first equation is x plus 2y equal to 1 and the second equation is 3y plus so 3x plus 4y equal to 1 how do we find the value of x and y that uh, uh, satisfy uh, these two equations so the theory is that you first uh, get the inverse of the coefficient matrix the coefficients of these two uh, equations are like okay for x it is coefficient is 1 for y the coefficient is 2 for x for the second equation the coefficient is 3 the coefficient for y is 4 so you take the co inverse of the coefficient matrix and multiply that to the right column so in the right side of the equation we have basically uh, 1 and 1 right for both equations when you do that, you get the solutions for X and uh, Y. But we'll put it in uh, matrix form for uh, better understanding. Obviously, this is somewhat crude to put it like this. So first, let's put it in matrix form. Uh, so uh, we put the coefficient matrix, we call it as A, a matrix of A. So what we do is that we put uh, uh, these coefficients, coefficients of these two equations. So for uh, first equation, it's one and two, and for the second equation, it's three and four. So it becomes a two by two matrix, two cross two matrix, and this is a coefficient matrix. And then the right side of the column, we also put that in a matrix form. We call it that B, okay? And we have one and one, right? For both uh, first and second equation, we have one and one. So that we put it. And we convert uh, them into vector because otherwise we cannot perform any uh, operations so using numpy array function we convert that into vector and see how it looks like so a is basically when you run it you get one two three four it's a two cross two matrix uh, and if you uh, say you run uh, b um, so b is basically one and one okay so now that we have a and b uh, so how we can find the solution is basically to find the inverse of a and multiply that with b and we will get the value of x and y so it's as simple as that uh, i'm sure you have studied about it in school uh, about how to you know get the solutions by hand so you can do hand computation to get there but we can also do it in uh, using some basic programming um, yeah, so the first thing to know about uh, is whether the determinant of the coefficient matrix uh, is zero or not. Technically, we call it as uh, uh, yeah, singularity basically. Okay, so if the determinant is zero, then the matrix is uh, not uh, invertible. So we cannot find the inverse of the matrix if the determinant of the coefficient matrix A is zero. So the first thing to find out is determinant. A uh, bit of a theory about determinant, determinant of uh, say, you know, this particular matrix is easy to find. Um, so you basically multiply 1 to 4 minus 2 uh, into 6, which is 4 minus 6 minus 2. You can you get that using the function determinant. Uh, so yeah, determinant of A is minus 2, right? So for 2 cross 2 matrix, it's easy. Obviously for 3 cross 3 matrix is somewhat more complicated and the next thing to do is to find the uh, inverse of this matrix so we'll use the inverse function from scipy um, and here is the inverse matrix so inverse of a matrix is always a matrix uh, and inverse of a two cross two matrix is always a two cross two matrix and that's what we've got uh, again you can get that using hand computation but we have used a formula here now we will find the solution which is pretty straightforward we find the solution like this a uh, the inverse of a we multiplied that with b now remember this uh, ampersand sign uh, well sorry add the red sign this is not um, 
uh, well, this is used for the matrix multiplication because matrix multiplication is different from a normal scalar multiplication. So therefore, a different uh, sign here used. So when you multiply that, you get the value of x and y. Now you might also be confused that, okay, y only x, what about y? Well, you know, uh, so x is basically used for a matrix form of x and y, okay? But we can use any other variable name also. For example, I can also use something like g, okay? Um, so g will have x and y, okay? So when you multiply this, you will get two numbers. So first one will be equal to x, second one will be for y. Uh, let's run this. Uh, okay, now I have changed the name to g. Uh, so let's me run. So what I get is minus one plus one. So x equal to minus one and y equal to plus one. And you can verify that if that actually satisfy these uh, two equations. So x is minus one and y is plus one. So put here you put one, so it's one minus uh, two, which is, ah, this is wrong. Ah, no, no, no. So x is minus one, sorry. So it is minus one and y is one. So minus one plus two equal to 1. So it satisfies the first equation. Second equation, 3x. So 3 multiplied to minus 1 plus 4y. 4, 4 into 1. So minus 3 plus 4, which is again 1. So it, um, yeah, so satisfies both the equations. Uh, right. So now we have the solution for x and y, but we can also uh, verify like this. Okay. Um, simply multiply a to x. Well, j, j here, right? Now we have changed the name. Yeah, so A just multiply, uh, it's a matrix multiplication again, so it's not a simple multiplication, so use the proper sign here. So A multiplied to Z gives you the right hand side of the uh, matrix, which is the matrix uh, B in this case. So when you do that, you get uh, 1, 1, right, which is the B matrix. If that's what you get, then yeah, then it's correct. Um, you can also find the solution directly without you know having to do everything all these steps simply use the the function solve and it will give you the uh, values so we just provide a and the b okay a is the coefficient matrix and b the right hand side of the matrix right so provide these two matrix but mention ensure that you maintain this order first you have to provide the coefficient matrix otherwise it will be confused okay when you use that you automatically get it uh, yeah in just uh, one line of code so that's how you can uh, compute the or you can find out the solution of two simultaneous equations in another session i'll take three variable simultaneous equations that will be a bit more interesting thanks